and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Slip and counter by Tyson. Working off the jab, it's good. Keep your hands up. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. Crazy numbers round one. Stay on him. Fast pace here in the early going. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice combination. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Punishing kick there. Oh, well timed and placed overhand by Tyson. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Man, his jab is good, there it is. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Nice strike. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. So Iron Mike Tyson's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Nice. Nicely done. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Jab there to the body by Tyson. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, that one landed. Yep. Leg kick. Circling towards the left now. Flipped him with the jab. So he needs to mix it up. He needs to start kicking more. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. It's a beautiful kick, Lance. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Slips the punch nicely there. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Tyson. Big shots being landed on both sides here. 
All right, so he lands another hook there. He's fallen in love with that strike, but when you continue to land at this type of clip, why get away from it? Why not? Why not fall in love with a punch that can't miss? He cannot miss with this hook. He's doing a good job of setting it up, fading out a jab, and then throwing the hook around his opponent's high guard. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best. A few strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand there. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Oh, and there's that hook again. Now a knee. See, he's trying to get the timing down to set up that counter, but just misses there. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one coming. His opponent is thinking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and a pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Tyson gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Eats a jab there. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. All right, so new round, same narrative as he continues to land that hook, and I'm just not sure how many more his opponent will take. His opponent will not be able to take many. In the previous round, he took a number of the same exact strikes, and now you can see it's starting to truly wear on him. Nice punch, man. Chase down that finish. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, head kick attempt, it is blocked by Tyson. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Nice jab there by Tyson. 
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a ball. Oh, he's got to keep pressing here. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Well, he blocked that punch. Steady. Just out of range with the big right hand. 30 seconds to go in round two. Nice crack there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. That right eye's looking Run. pretty swollen. Run. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Right, Potential adversity see. here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let us show you all that was done in terms of the damage in that previous round. He has got a huge gash on his cheek. I mean, there was that shot right there. That one landed and opened him up. What a nasty combination thrown by his opponent. But this cut now is another issue to deal with. He's got one of the best fighters in front of him, and he's dealing Ready. with this cut on the cheek. Ready. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Great job blocking that one. Let's go. Get off first, boy. Throws that teeth. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, how good is that jab by Tyson? Big lead. And he blocks the shot there. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Oh, nice shot there to avoid the punch. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, big left hook there. Beautiful strike. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it. But the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to 
to deter him from doing this constantly. He has got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. Oh, he's hurt bad. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Just misses with the straight right. Don't wait, don't wait. I need you to be first now. Big shot to the head. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Nice level change. What a great sequence by him mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged swollen area. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack it. that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Big right hand. Oh, huge left. Under 20 seconds now to go. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. So the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, Jim. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored this contest 30-27. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from boxing to mixed martial arts, but the proof is in the